Filming? I didn't even yeah, know that. We, are filming. we just wrote a song. What should we call that song? We should call it uh, Mummy Caught Me. Mummy Caught Me. Mummy Caught Me. Yeah. Um <laughs> Hey! Welcome back to Acoustic Paradiso. Yeah. Lee's dressed up for the occasion. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Check He's, uh, these uh glad rags out. Speaking of glad rags, there's a great tune for the acoustic guitar. Glad rags. Glad rags. And uh, that's one that Rod Stewart did and then the Stereophonics covered it. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's a talking good song. Talking about, we're that's in our last good, video. Good, good, good song. We're talking yeah. about songs that work particularly well with the acoustic guitar. Sigma, Sigmund Freud. <laughs> Sigma Freud. Sigma, which um, back in the day um, would have had a, a closer association with Martin guitars than it uh, perhaps has now. But back in the day, there was a sort of a licensing deal between yeah. the two companies. So Martin would make these beautiful American-made guitars like the D18 and the Triple O18 and the D28 and all those kind of historically wonderful guitars. Yeah. And then uh, under license, Sigma would make uh, copies of them in yeah. the Far East. I think it was like a similar thing. They they were going to try to do Squire like a and all that yeah, kind of Gibson stuff. and Ebiphone. And it was, it yeah. was going to be a similar thing. But then they went, oh, that's not really what yeah. we're doing. So Sigma now is owned by, it's like in its own right. It's uh, no longer has that kind of uh, relationship with Martin. But yeah. obviously, you know, they carry on making a lot of the guitars that they used to make. Yeah. Uh, so you will find in the Sigma catalogue lots of guitars that look a bit like Martin guitars. Well, you mean have... bit like? A bit, Sorry? They look a bit like... Well, I mean, okay. they look so, completely yeah, the same. Sorry. Lots I mean, if I do this... Oh! Have you got a Martin uh, even, D28? Even with the... D18, even sorry. Even with the... Oh, no, this is a bit dusty because they've just come up Dusty bin. Dusty, but the, literally... Even yeah, a no. logo. I mean, in America, apparently, they can't use they, that they're logo. They're not allowed to call them so, Sigma. Yeah. yeah. So they call them uh, SMG. Uh, that's and a good like. shout, actually. But, yeah, what do they... Anyway. Anyway, this is also an epic deal video. It is. Right? So this is why we're here. So... We, we digress into stuff about... Yes. You know. So, yeah. So in the Sigma catalogue, you've got guitars that look like Martins. More recently, you've got guitars that look a bit like Taylors and guitars that look a bit like... Um, Gibsons. Gibsons. Yeah. Why did I even... Anyway, so they kind of what they sort of do is there's not really so there's no real such thing as a sigma that looks like a sigma, is there? Really, there's no they don't have their own thing. They're very much there to sort of emulate other famous guitar brands. Yes. And um, anyway, two super famous guitars uh, in their catalog is the Sigma. I'm going to give you the model number here. Triple S the S Triple O M eighteen. Yeah. Which is absolutely you know spec'd in a triple o size yeah mahogany back and sides solid mm. spruce top uh all of the things you know open gear tuners all of the things that might make you go oh, looks a bit like a martin D, i mean uh, from from a distance 18. you will not be able from to tell a distance, you won't tell the difference another all. acoustic song not really it's more piano I think. i'll tell you why it's called why? s in here that stands for solid Absolutely. So, and what... Um, this is the D18, basically. Is it really? I thought it was a J200. No, I'm joking. So, yeah, D18. <laughs> it's what's SDM. It, what? SDM. D18. SDM. I SDM. Mean, even it? so... Didn't someone have a dungeon for that once? Yes, yes, they did. So, even down to the to the open gear tuners on the back here, which is um, which has got the little gold um, ratio gears, whatever they're called, I don't know, yeah. and these little butter bean tuners. I think... It looks... <laughs> So there's even like a Martin tag on it. So you think, oh, it's a Martin guitar. And then he goes, no, no, this is just because it tells you it's got Martin strings on it. Yeah. So look, clearly. Uh, but if you if you took these two, yeah, put them next uh, an original D18, put them next to each other. 
They look pretty similar. The yeah. headstock's a little different, isn't yeah. it? Anyway, look. No, it's not. Is it not? It's that not. square it's, headstock No, is... it's exactly the same. Is it exactly I'm telling you, blood. It's exactly the same, bruh. In it. So, um, even down to the, the label in, I mean, I mean, it's it's pretty, look, look at the little burn mark in here. See, inside, we'll get mark. a little. Oh, I see yeah. what you mean. And Martin oh, does exactly kidding. the same thing on theirs. Bit close, and if you it? look, so Martin, how you tell uh, the numbers on a Martin, if you look in the Martin yeah. and you look on the back of the, um, there, that's where normally their um, serial numbers are burnt in. And even down to the, we were just adjusting with an Allen key. If you saw the Allen key, that's always difficult to get. It's like one of these really long ones because because the, the, uh, where you adjust it is all the way in here. And that's the same on a Martin guitar. Is it really? Yeah. So it's, it's, I long mean, away. it is really, it's a really close, really, copy. really close copy um and but it's 499 pounds so here's the epic deal yes. these are these are probably two of the top of the range guitars in the in the sigma catalog yeah uh, the cheaper sigma stuff will have solid tops and laminate back and sides yeah but, so these are pretty accurate as like people were saying these these are sort of going for that accuracy of the of the the more expensive model yeah uh retail i think is like 699 649 yeah. is it um yeah epic deal 499 all solid guitar no electronics in this this no. is a proper like campfire it's, guitar yeah. isn't it you know yeah no, yeah no uh, need for an amplifier beautiful gig bags so i shall just reach down yeah hopefully i've got an empty one this time i do which um, which again if you look at that it's the same one as martin but it is a naughty different. logo it's, isn't it it's even really the established <laughs> 1833 just says established 1970. Yeah. it's oh, a bit it's naughty than but, me but you know what you know what for people that that aspire to get a martin they want to start someplace then if you want something that looks like yeah. this iconic yeah. guitar because of course if you were going to buy a martin for this well not only could you not really get anything at this price but there or thereabouts you'd be into something like a dreadnought junior which would be a satin finish solid top laminate back inside the 699 is it no it's 599 mm, oh, it might be. something like yeah. that i think so, it's gone up a bit and if you want this in a Martin version, it's, it's oh, over two, two grand. grand yeah. Two two. There is, of course, one big difference between these yes, and uh, the Martin guitars, and that is, I don't know, geography is like five thousand miles, ten thousand yeah. miles. I'm not sure because yeah. these, of course, are made in China. Yeah. Um, and where the Martin as guitars are made, to Nazareth, in, Nazareth in by people the good old US the whole of, yeah, A. Yeah, exactly. Sure. But just be before I go into it, uh, the guitar, let's just play a G chord because that's always play the G a G chord. chord. So, I mean, on the first kind of play, it feels great. There's no sharp frets. The, the neck is really cool. It's just easy to play. Right, so we did a comparison between, I can't remember if it was this and the DAT, um, uh, Gibson J200 and the Sigma J200 version. We'll put, it in, we'll put a link to that video yeah, in the description. You can below. have a look. So what, what it is with these guitars is that when you have got the real thing, Yeah. It's really difficult to explain, but you have to play them both side to side. So if you come in and you're interested, if you've got 500 quid, man, this is amazing value for money. Mm -hmm. I can't fault it. It feels great. It sounds great. But what happens is if you have got the, the uh, this guitar, it'll have the dynamic range, which is kind of like this. Mm -hmm. So if you're playing... Oh, there you go. You know. Right. The, right. Di the dynamic range, it's, it's like this. But when you've got the, the, the D18... Yeah. Wow, it just you can feel so it's, not, it's not the tone so much it's, yeah, the, it's the, the dynamic and also in the tone it. as well the tone as well there is right. there is a certain i mean if maybe you can't but i can certainly tell there's a yeah. difference you know but is there a 2000 almost a 2000 yeah that's another thing anyway so the 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 d18 gets its name because on martin guitars the it's mahogany back and sides mahogany neck so that's how it is and it's mm -hmm. less appointment so the higher number you go up to 21 yeah. becomes rosewood back and sides get a little bit more appointment 28 gets the you know, when you talk about brilliant. appointments, you're not talking about like a doctor's appointment, are well, you? It could you're be, talking you know, about you're talking about the blingness, the, aren't the you? Bling aren't bling. You? Yeah, yeah. So once you're up onto like D forty five or something, you're yeah. talking like heavy inlays, duty, around, inlays here, around here and, and, and here like and big block pearl mother pearl yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah. But you know, you they you know you save the money by not putting mother pearl in there, plastic instead. You know, you you know maybe they, they make their I own. I don't know what these inlays are. They could well be mother of pearl. Yeah. 
Oh, no, they're now, abalone, aren't they? Yes, but they're not... Uh, or are they'll they, be a, are they a, abaplastic-y? A, a, abaplastic-y, <laughs> yeah. It'll be a fox uh, thing, you know. A fo- fox. Um, but I, I can't really... Yeah. For 4 some more, because the Dreadnought for me is... Iconic, man. Is the iconic... Sh- it's, it's prior to the, the Dreadnought. Yeah. Guitars would have been smaller, more yeah, derivative guitars. from the sort of parlor guitar thing. Even smaller than that. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course... Uh, around about the 1930s, uh, guitar players came more demanding, so they need something louder, more powerful to get yeah. across the rowdy bars during yeah. the Depression and, and all that, that was kind of that stuff. First, that was the orchestra model first, they played for the yeah. orchestras. So if you can do a bit of finger style uh, chords, well, just show that really you can do anything on a, on a Dreadnought guitar and, and it works. Yeah, so here we go. You know that was on a D18, uh, D28. No, it wasn't. That was a different guitar. You can see that Tim Pierce actually got an interview on his channel with the guy that actually played Clapton. But Clapton's playing a Triple O Twenty Eight. Yes, on... Clapton was. But he was playing his Clapton. But the guy who played original on the album uh-huh. is another guy, and he plays some kind of uh, another made guitar, which I, I can't remember the name of. Anyway, so what you can hear when I'm playing these little. <laughs> It's kind of missing a bit of nuances in it, but you'll expect that for for five hundred pound guitar. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean. Um, so and this song. Oh man, uh, I don't know. So oh. come on. Two. Yeah. You know, you know it's <laughs> look around, around. Yeah, yeah. So, Adele, anyway, that song. Oh, yeah. That was, that was played on a D18. It's probably fair to say that almost every classic acoustic song from the 1940s through to probably 1980s was either played on a Martin or a Gibson, wasn't yeah. it? Really? So, yeah. And, you know, even... J200, wasn't it? I'm not sure, man. You never, never know. No, no. Anyway, so... So it, anyway, the guitar's great. Oh, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with the guitar at all but that's the power that's what i like about the dreadnought is the power of like the guy that wants it or the girl that wants it like... yeah. you miss it from from that you kind of like you're going where's the yeah. i need more but yeah. you, it, it all and it erupts. looks it erupts it looks from that guitar brilliant i yeah. can't fold this guitar for 4.99 honestly if i wasn't a bit of a if i wasn't a musician that needed that and i would you know then i would buy this in a heartbeat yeah Literally in a heartbeat. Yeah. Boom. There it, is. Yeah. it doesn't take more. You put your card in. So anyway, talk to me about that okay. one, Mr. So Clapton. The triple O shape uh, is a smaller shape. It is a little narrower this way. Uh, it is a little smaller overall, uh, but it's still a, a similar neck profile. It might even be an identical. Yeah, neck they're profile completely to the that. same. Yeah, yeah, identical kind of neck profile to that. Same neck join. Um, same uh, timbers. So beautiful spruce top. Uh, with mahogany back and sides, mahogany yeah. neck, uh, ebony fretboard, and ebony uh, bridge. bridge. Yeah, it's all it specs all the same yeah. on these two. Same tuners, really, yeah. really cool Rover. tuners. But of course, this guitar is a little bit more delicate sounding. As I say, in fact, can you? We'll go same plectrum. Do the G chord, and we'll do it sort of medium strength. Yeah. So it's um, it's brighter. It's probably whether it's the lack of the bass end that's making the mid range pop a bit more, mm-hmm. or whether there just is more mid range. It's mm-hmm. hard to 
hope to really tell. Yeah. But it lends itself, I think, smaller guitars like that lend themselves to to more of that because because it is bright, it is punchier through that kind of mid range. So it's yeah, a, or, or just like uh, if I play. A It's, what, well, it's punchy, isn't it? So... You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's funny, because I've got an OM28 uh, Martin. Uh, that is, uh, the scale length is slightly different on those two. Right. Um, so, the, that, the, this is again the same thing when you, that just sounds so much bigger. I don't have it here because then we can yeah. do a comparison. I think maybe it's worth maybe it's sometimes doing a comparison with this and the actual D18, and maybe the Atkins D18, you know, to, well, to actually to kind of get for, through for me, the bipod, But the Dreadnought guitar, the yeah. sign of a good Dreadnought guitar is the G chord challenge. It's a G chord challenge. You do that, the guitar erupts and explodes, and all this amazing tone and woodiness comes out. And I think you get that generally speaking on dreadnought guitars anyway and then the better the dreadnought the guitar the more it kind of does and i do agree you know that the 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 d28 d18 d35 whatever you know they are amazing atkin do an amazing copy oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, of a yeah. one called the essential d essential d um beautiful they it's all good yeah it's all good yeah, yeah. and when you're down at sort of the 500 pound range I, I, there's an expect it's like the, the flavor is there, but it's yeah. maybe not. You need you need the not, size it's of not the guitar. The Gordon Ramsay. You, no, you need the size of the guitar <laughs> yeah. to get the tone. Where that one is lacking a little bit more of that. But it's different. Woodiness. So I've got so my my two acoustic guitars. Yeah, I've got one that's a dreadnought and one that's uh, a um, more like a Gibson LG style. But it's you know it's smaller. Yeah. And I if I'm just in the mood and I just want to go. It's almost, I don't want, I, the, the Dreadnought perhaps becomes a bit over, not overbearing, but it's too, it's too much, too powerful. You know, you just want that nice little. Yeah. But that's why you need the dynamic range of the guitar so you can yeah. do both, right? Because it's when you start slamming, when you start get hitting it and getting into it, you know. That's when the. I when, love these. But you know what I mean? This has got polyurethane lacquer on it where expensive guitars will have nitro like one, a really thin nitro. It just allows everything to white vibrate better and, yeah. you know. If you are but what's a your budget? Of, Is if it you are a fan of uh, Eric Clapton's Unplugged album, he was playing a Martin Triple O 28, which, yeah. which is essentially yeah. uh, this, but with a rosewood back and sides, yeah. and obviously mine, not the term. Yeah. Not yeah. Sigma. But they look so great, these guitars. Yeah. I mean, they look the bee's knees, man.
That's it. Tell me the prices of these guitars again. Four nine nine. While stocks last, yeah. it's not an ongoing promotion. It is simply until we run out of these stocks. Yeah. And there you go. So this has been the Sigma Triple O eighteen and the uh, D eighteen S. Both of them great guitars. Come with the bag. Links will be below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications in the future if you want more videos like this. Ding. Blah.